She's beautiful. She has a bit of scaffolding going on because I think she's a little bit rusty. But aren't we all like I'll see anything? Who let architecture be that nice? Fucking hell. Are you happy to be in Paris? Oui. I wish this was my fucking nightly run. We are going to here for dinner. We're just getting to. Music, I love it. I think that's a brilliant idea. to learn French and then live here and live out my wildest dreams. Yeah, I think we walked down that way. Smells good. We're just picking up our coffees and we've had our croissants and then I think I'm just gonna do shopping So I'm just gonna go wandering around a whole lot of shop and hopefully buy some cool vintage things I've got a couple of things in mind that I want to buy but I always go on with like an open mind because I just want it all, You know really cute area. I actually have no idea what the area is called But like there's a vegan shop across the road from where I'm getting my coffee. So I'm obviously in the right spot. But yeah I don't know what you guys know about coffees in Europe, but fuck, yeah. they are usually so shit. And this is delicious.
there are all of these vintage shops so close to each other so this one is another one and there was one literally just there this one's fucking crazy i've literally never heard of the concept but basically whatever you want you weigh it and it's like done by weight it's almost like if you were buying fruit and veggies the fruit and veggie shop i'm excited so let's go in here and shop fruit Oh, it works. We are heading to her, the Notre Dame to have a little look. It's a classic, you gotta go. I have hit loads of shops. I was basically shopped out at the end of it. Couldn't even, couldn't even face going into another changing room and taking off my pants all over again. Uh, but I got a really cool bunch of bits and pieces, some jeans, a lot of denim based stuff. But yeah, let's go to Notre Dame. And then I'm also gonna go to the Shakespeare and Company, which is a famous bookshop, which kind of helps authors get their books finished and finalized and published in return for working in the in the bookshop but it's supposed to be like really famous and beautiful so we're gonna go there as well let's go i think we're all very familiar with the fact that notre dame burned down a few years ago but obviously being a capitalist society and it being something worth funding money poured in and they're fixing it fuck poverty it's very beautiful though. Oh, April 2019 it happened. Did it say when it's going to be completed, the restoration? Uh, no, I don't know. Might take them a while. It burned pretty good. Still beautiful though. And I got this book, which I've heard good things about. It was such a beautiful shot. They had like the step lettery things where you climb up and they slide. I didn't film though because it said no filming and I'm a law abiding citizen like that. Someone also just dropped this rose from their balcony and he saw me look at him drop it and he was like, ah, it's for you. And so now I have this really pretty rose, which is great. Yeah. Oh. Oh my god, what? That is stunning! We are heading in the direction of the Concorde Memorial. Memorial? And then we're gonna go look at the Arc de Triomphe and then find a cafe and sit and look at the Eiffel Tower because that is the thing to do. Just everything is stunning. Even like across there. Loving. Shushun. There she is. <laughs> Old man. It's so pretty. It's so hot now, and I kind of look like wearing jeans. I've had a quick outfit change into one of the tops that I bought today. Super pink, but much cooler. This grapefruit juice, oh yes. Ooh. My feet are starting to hurt a little bit from all the walking. Oh, there she is, the Arc de Triomphe. Dad was a bus driver and he used to drive buses in through this roundabout. And he's saying that the people in the roundabout have to give way to the people pulling in, which seems so counterintuitive. They just like pull straight in and then wait for everyone else to give way, like and you gotta get straight into the middle to try and get out. Like, it just looks like Crash City. I wouldn't be able to hack it. It's crazy. Alrighty, should we go that way? Yep. My feet are killing me. At this point, we've walked like half fucking Paris. But I'm having a good time. I'm not complaining. I'm fucking hot. <laughs> I mean, it's just so beautiful. <laughs> wow. Beautiful.
bloody look at. Get this bloody pole out of the way. And this bloody bus stop. And this next bloody pole. Delicious, beautiful, stunning. She's beautiful. She has a bit of scaffolding going on because I think she's a little bit rusty. But aren't we all a little bit? I feel a bit rusty. Just going for a wonder. I'm so full after dinner. Wow. I need to walk it off. I want to stay and wait for the sparkles. They only give you five gigabytes for free, way. otherwise they charge you. Yeah, well, I'm going to get charged, don't I? We're just discussing the fact that I think my iCloud storage is full and my phone's fucking out on itself. It sucks. But yeah, it's obviously sunset. We want to wait until the sparkles, but we have to wait until the dark. And I don't think the first sparkle goes off until like 10 or 11, because it doesn't get dark until then. So I'm not too sure what we're going to do. We'll figure it out. I really want to see the sparkles though. That's high on my priority list. Very high. Basically it sparkles every hour on the hour after nightfall, but alas, I'm gonna have to wait till 11. That's really annoying. I will get there. Regardless, it has been a stunning evening. I am in excellent temperature right now. I'm very happy. We are home. It is like 11.30. I'm about to have a shower. I've just put some washing on. Yeah, I'm going to bed and I'm going to see you guys tomorrow. Hope you enjoyed today. I had such a cool time. Like it was just epic to get a whole bunch of shopping done and go to the vintage shops and eat some more yummy food and I don't know, see a few sights. Tomorrow I've got like a whole nother jam-packed day planned. I kind of want to go to a whole bunch of museums. I want to go inside the Louvre. I've got so much more to do. We did 27,633 steps today, which was 17.5 kilometers. No wonder my feet are fucked right now. So yeah, honestly, if you are doing Paris in 48 hours, you're probably gonna need some really good shoes because it's a lot. How's that dead tooth of mine looking? Hot. Sucks. So fucked off about that. Cute dead tooth. And I will see you guys tomorrow for some more of Paris. Good night. Good morning. Hi, how are ya? We are. Gotten up. It's not early. It's like 12.30. We slept in again. And we are at the Louvre. We're going in. We have tickets. We're just gonna figure out where you enter. We found the entrance, it's in here. You guys come, I recommend tickets online. Otherwise, you're gonna be waiting a long time. Oh, I'm excited. So, such a cool piece of architecture. Love it. We are in, and we are going down. I am so excited. Where are we gonna start? Wow, it's really huge down here. Start up this way, I suppose. Wow. Probably. We're heading in the direction of the Mona Lisa, but so is every little other person ever to arrive in Paris. It's so crazy. Oh, I mean, that's stunning. But it's up. Okay, so you gotta get in a queue. Okay, yup. Yeah. Alright, we gotta do what we gotta do. I mean, she's beautiful, but it's not, I don't think it's yeah, like hot tip. Just come up the right side, don't wait in the queue, and you get pretty well as close as anyone who's trying to see it will get. And you don't have to wait. Like the backgrounds, like the landscape is just merely etched. It's not even finished. Like, he's so good. He didn't even need to finish this piece of art. Did you know that he didn't even finish it? Yeah, no, I don't know. That. He didn't even finish it. He didn't even need to finish it. He's just, he doesn't even need it. Yeah, look. Merely etched. I could never. Anyway, she's beautiful. 
Napoleon crowning himself. Go you. It's got the 191 figures in it. Like the fact that the artist, well, like it's huge. Like the sheer size of it. This recollection is incredible. Like how on earth do you remember all of this over that many years that it would take you to paint it? Like I can't. I I can't. It's amazing. Wow. And this is Brutus, a Roman consul, and he has decided to behead his sons for conspiring against the Republic. And his mum and sisters are devastated. And he's just sitting there like an asshole. How could you behead your own son? So they have a 60th year anniversary of the catwalk for Yves Saint Laurent and look at these jackets. They've got six of these embroidered jackets. Oh my god, like that is fucking stunning. to be a Louis Vuitton show. We are out. It was stunning. That Yves Saint Laurent was my favorite part. Those jackets, damn. Well, I did kind of want to stay and watch the Louis Vuitton fashion show because it was all set up, but people were still arriving and it looked like it was going to be ages away. And so sometimes watching things on the screen is actually just easier. I can't see anything. I'll just watch it later on there. I couldn't be bothered waiting around. We're going to go to the Picasso Museum and have a look at some more art, but it's a good walk away, so see what we find on the way. <laughs> Lunch was yum. We basically just went to this little place. It's just like this vegany, plant-basey, organic-y thing. So basically, like if you you're feeling like a basic bitch, that would be the perfect place for you to go because it was basic bitch food. You know, smoothie bowls, that sort of crap. So now I'm going to the Picasso Museum, um, and I'm very excited about it because I love Picasso. Who doesn't? He's a G. See you there. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm actually like obsessed and amazed with Picasso's work. I've always really liked him, but like you know, it's always better when you can see a collection all together and then, you know, get a little bit of a backstory about, you know, what's going on behind each of the images. He's so creative and clever and like, there was the last clip that I showed you guys, which was the fact that in the last three years of his life, he produced 201 pieces of art. It's crazy, it's incredible. I'm obsessed, I'm obsessed. <laughs> First of all, wow. Second of all, wow. And third of all, wow, Picasso. Fuck. That was actually probably my favorite art museum I've ever been to. The sweat was laid out and everything and it was quite personal and I don't know, I feel like we went like quite deeply into the way an artist like that thinks and works and like what's going on in his mind. Like it was actually really sad. Like I actually cried in there. Oh, not gonna lie. Yeah, I also had like, no idea that he worked with so many mediums. But he did like 
etching, screen printing, sculpture, ceramics. Like he did so much, it's incredible. And so that showcased so much from what was in his chateau where he died and what was left behind. And my God, that man is, you know, even the way he worked, there was a couple of videos where we could see, you know, how he painted and stuff. And he does everything like with such precision. Sound like a fuckwit, because I don't actually really know what I'm talking about. And yeah, you probably just want me to shut the fuck up. Like he just almost has like a really, really clear vision in his head of, and he knows exactly where his brush needs to go. You know, like even when he's working, he goes like so quickly through everything. He just like, did someone just film me? That guy had a camera and he filmed me. If you guys are ever in Paris, like I'm obviously gonna make you like a top list of things you have to do, but I think this could potentially be my number one. I really enjoyed it. Yeah, so I'm just finding my dad because I abandoned him. And then I think we're gonna find dinner, so bye. We'll see you soon. Mwah. Oh my god, I also have to add a shout out to the guy who I, I don't, you were, I, he was either hitting on me or he was actually just really nice, but he just let me in the museum for free. Like, we had a conversation outside, very briefly, and then I was at the counter waiting to pay for my ticket entrance into the, I don't think it would have cost me very much anyway, but he was like about to go and move spots, and instead of being security, he was gonna be on the door, and so he was just like, come with me, come with me. And then he just like gave me the map and was like, get on in, and I was like, thank you so much. So, you know, I don't actually know what his name was, but I'm very appreciative. I mean, if that's like, you know, someone heading on me in France, like, carry on. Love This is a show we didn't stay for. It's summer 2023 men's. Fuck yeah. Oh my god, is that Naomi Campbell? Yeah. Negronis. Oh, thank you. So good. Thank you. I like the light posts, I like the buildings, I like the bloody trees, I like the fucking cars, I like the bloody ads for Pete's sakes, and I fucking like horses in this realm, but typically uh, anyone that knows me knows I actually flipping at horses, so that's unique. But I just love everything. I'm gonna live here one day, guys. You can quote me on that. Who let architecture be that nice? Fucking hell. Wow. Wow. What's that, um... Wow. You know who I'm being. You know, you know. To the Eiffel Tower for some sparkles. I am slightly drunk. We are still walking. It's about an hour walk to the Eiffel Tower. That's good because I've eaten too much and I need a walk. But basically, we're passing the Champs Elysees where we walked yesterday. And we're gonna walk along the waterfront. We're gonna go to this place called I think it's like Rue de Livre. I don't know. There's this random street, I'll show you it. That apparently is really cute to take photos down with the Eiffel Tower back down, but it's dark, so I don't know what you'll be able to see. Freak it out. I mean, that just looks fucking horrific. I couldn't think of anything worse than being on that boat. Wow, this walk is actually taking me a lot longer than I was expecting it to, um, but I'm really excited about what this view is gonna look like when I get there, because like, so far? It's giving. I've worked up a cracking pace. I don't even think my fucking dreams can keep up with me. I've got two minutes until it sparkles, and wow. That is quite stunning. Are you happy to be in Paris? Oui. I wish this was my fucking nightly run, but it's not. In fact, my nightly run doesn't exist, but if I did a nightly run, oh, wow. Oh, what? Oh, slay, 
Get it, tower. I actually have a really fun fact for you guys about the Eiffel Tower. But basically the art installation that makes it sparkle on the Eiffel Tower is actually a copyrighted piece of artwork. And so it's actually illegal to take photos of the Eiffel Tower at night when it's doing this sparkle feature. So basically what I'm trying to say to you guys is I'm a fucking bad bitch and I'm risking the law. Now I think it's honestly one of those laws that everyone just has to let slide because of the fact that like, how are you going to patrol this? Are you happy to be in Paris? Look! We oui. Look! Le sparkle. I feel like this is the most prominent place to sign off my Paris YouTube video. I just want to say thank you guys for watching the video. If you made it all this way through my 48 hours in Paris, I love you guys. And I will see you in the next one, which is in the Netherlands. We're doing a bike tour. But yeah, good night. I love you guys. Goodbye, Paris. Wow, I, I will live here. Mark my words.